Hey guys, it's MJ and in this video I want to talk about what could be a potential cause for a future Bitcoin crash. Not the most uh, happy topic to be talking about, but the reason why I want to talk about it is because I read this book over here. Um, it's written by guys who've won the Nobel Prize in Economics. They lecture, uh, they lecture at Yale on finance. So they're quite smart. So I, I kind of value their opinion. And this book is about, you know, the psychology that drives the economy and a bit of gives it like a different account on what caused the world recession, which can we believe it's 10 years old, the world recession that happened back in 2007, it's over 10 years old. Um, so that's crazy. But yeah, one of the things that he talks about in this book, it's this idea known as animal spirits, kind of how psychology plays its role in, in the markets. And... One of the things that they push um, a lot in this book is the idea of stories, how humans react to stories, how we communicate through stories, and how stories drive a lot of our decisions. And what I want to do is just apply what they speak about here to what's happening with Bitcoin and what could cause the market to, to flip. So in Bitcoin, the general story is you buy some Bitcoin and you make a lot of money. It's, it's an amazing story, it's, it's a story with a lot of energy, um, also the mystery around the creator, it, it just captures the, the public's imagination and more and more people have been buying Bitcoin and this buying creates pressure on the price to increase which kind of fulfills the prophecy. So what we're hearing is the story is that Bitcoin can make you rich, people are buying Bitcoin and they're making lots of money. Now what's happened is that this is being fueled by something known as the ICOs. What an ICO is, it's when somebody comes and creates their own cryptocurrency. But what they do in order to, to make it successful is they go on quite a big and quite an aggressive marketing strategy. I'm on websites where I'm literally getting paid just to answer surveys around ICOs. That's how much money that they're throwing at it to try and grab people's attention. And the stories with ICOs have been around people raising something like over a hundred million dollars over a weekend. That, that's kind of the, the ICO story. It's the incredible get rich quick scheme and, and people are seeing fabulous uh, amounts of money coming to them through a successful ICO. And what this has done for Bitcoin, it's been brilliant because it has marketed Bitcoin as the gateway to get into these ICOs. Um, as, along with something like Ethereum, what people are told, especially people in the public who, who had no interest in blockchain, had no interest in Bitcoin, suddenly they're getting these advertisements around ICOs. They're like, what is an ICO? They're hearing in the news, it's making lots and lots of money, they're getting interested, they're reading more and more about Bitcoin. So a lot of people are buying Bitcoin to get into these ICOs, and the current story is, is that we're all making lots and lots of money. But there is a potential problem and that is with how the ICO is structured. How the ICO is structured is that basically you give somebody a lot of money in the beginning to do a project and then you hope that they finish the project. Now you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that there is not the alignment of incentives which is one of the fundamental principles of finance. And rational agents and all that type of stuff does not support the theory that all these ICOs are going to take the money that they've got and are going to work diligently and create the projects that they set forth. What we're going to see is a lot of ICOs might have overpromised and underdelivered. And what's going to start happening is people are going to go from making so much money with Bitcoin, making so much money with ICOs, telling their aunts and uncles, friends, neighbors, are oh, making so much money with Bitcoin and you know they're hearing this from multiple sources and they're also pouring their own money in the story is going to change of these people saying gosh I got burnt on this ICO I spent you know fifty dollars on these coins or five thousand dollars on these coins along with so many other people but the creator took all the money he you know bought a fancy yacht he sailed away and the project has, you know, nothing's happened. The coin has become worthless because there's like an infinite amount of these things and I've lost a lot of money. And, and this story is going to be retold over and over again 
um, as more and more ICOs start to fail. Not all ICOs are going to fail. I think some of them are quite cool, but the vast majority of these things are going to crumble, either due to poor um, governance or fraud or just you know trying to overpromise and the technology they can't make the breakthrough. And what we're going to see is a bit of panic starting to brew in the markets. And when the price starts going down a little bit, more people will lose money, more people tell the story about, oh, I bought in Bitcoin at the wrong time. It was just a big pump and dump. It is a scam. Look how much money I've lost. I've cut my losses. I've sold. I've got up. Look at this. This story is going to be told more and more and more. And based on what this book is saying, when that story of loss dominates the story of, oh, look, I bought Bitcoin. I made a lot of money. As soon as that comes, we're going to see the flip. We're going to see the price crash. And it's sad because I think Bitcoin is an amazing technology. There's a lot of good in it. But at the moment, there's so much money that's being poured into the system that doesn't understand the technology that's in it for the wrong motors. And as soon as they start seeing their money fall, there is going to be this drastic withdrawal. But now look, that is just one possible scenario. Uh, this is financial markets. Uh, as we know, uncertainty is huge. For all I know, uh, governments could embrace Bitcoin. They could say, we're going to do away with paper money. This is going to become the only legal tender. And Bitcoin's price could, you know, quadruple um, every 10 seconds. You know, we don't know what's going to happen. Um, so don't take this message as this is doom and gloom. Sell all your Bitcoin right now. But what I do want you guys to be aware of is that there are possible scenarios where Bitcoin does crash. There are possible cases, like another one is if somebody somehow manages to break the blockchain or they do a fork and then there's a security and you know, there, there's the whole technological reasons that could cause it. Um, what I just wanted to bring to attention was the idea of the psychology of the market. And like I said, it's nothing I can take credit for. It's written by guys who do lecture at Yale. Um, they have got Nobel Prizes. Uh, they've done a lot of research in it. All I've simply done is looked at what they've been talking about with the world recession, looking at it with Bitcoin, asking myself, what are the stories? What are the big drivers? Why have we seen such a large increase in the Bitcoin price? And I think these ICOs, which have been a big blessing at the moment, might turn out to be Bitcoin's biggest curse. But anyway, I'm always keen to hear what your guys' opinions are, what your thoughts are, so leave them in the comment section below. And I look forward to that discussion. Thanks, guys. Cheers.